We are talking best strength training for runners. I'm gonna give you a killer kettlebell workout. Now, when we're talking best strength training for runners, uh, and we think about the exercises we want to do, uh, we want to make sure that whatever exercise we do, we, we do it uh, checks a few boxes for us. And uh, one of those boxes is that it actually challenges and improves our range of motion in our body. And what that means that if I'm trying to improve range of motion in my hips and ankles, something like a squat, which we'll do today, really opens up these ankles and these hips, everything as we go down. Uh, and it also does something to challenge our shoulders. And maybe perhaps we could do that with a little overhead work today, which we'll also do when we do a kettlebell push press. And believe it or not, runners don't have to hold their arms overhead, but so many runners get really stiff in this thoracic spine uh, and the shoulders, and all of a sudden their arm swing gets very stiff, it comes across their body. And then functionally in life, when they do have to bring their arms overhead, it doesn't feel very good. So it's very important just as a human being to train these ranges of motion. And the, the few other boxes we wanna hit, we wanna make sure that we're strong and stable through our hips and our shoulders. We've got really good balance. And then furthermore, can we develop a little bit of force production in those muscles? Can we develop a little bit of power output? and can we develop a little muscular stamina. So we're gonna cover that in a second with two of my favorite exercises, which is going to be a kettlebell squat and a kettlebell push press. So I've got my kettlebell here today, and uh, it's a fun implement. You can do pretty much anything with this kettlebell from squatting to deadlifting to single leg lunges and single leg deadlifts to kettlebell swinging to pressing to push pressing to Olympic lifts. You can really cover a lot of ground with this thing. If you also don't happen to have a kettlebell, that's okay. You could do the two exercises we're gonna cover today with a dumbbell or even a water jug or uh, whatever heavy thing you have at home. So I'm just gonna walk you through these things. And the first exercise we're gonna cover is gonna be a squat with a kettlebell. I'm gonna show you two different ways to hold this kettlebell. The first one, I'm gonna hold this in a goblet style position. So I'm gonna hold these kettlebells uh, just like so, both hands around the handle. I'm gonna squeeze my elbows in, and I'm gonna work on this squat position. I'm gonna squeeze my belly and butt. My feet are gonna be about shoulder width. I'm gonna push my hips back and my knees out sink down nice and low, as low as I can, come up tall. And just to show you from the side, I wanna go as low as I can while keeping my back flat and while keeping my feet flat on the ground. So for me, I tend to work on this so I can go down pretty far, but you may find that your back starts to round this way or you start to squat up on your toes. So if either of those things happen, we're gonna limit our range of motion to as far as we can go. If you're brand new and you've never really tried squatting before, try squatting down into a chair or a bench. Sometimes that helps give you a little target. So I'm going to hold the kettlebell like this. I'm going to work on my kettlebell squats. You also notice from this front view that my knees track outward slightly a little bit. That's just perfect. In the first round, I'm going to do 10 of those. Now for a second exercise, it's actually going to be something called a kettlebell push press. And the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna hold this kettlebell up here on my shoulder, and I'm gonna bring this uh, kettlebell from this shoulder position all the way overhead. I want my bicep up in my ear so that everything is nice and aligned. In other words, this kettlebell isn't out front, and this kettlebell isn't out to the side. Anytime I have weight overhead, it's one of the best core strengthening exercises you can get. So make sure that that belly is squeezed tight and that butt is squeezed tight. And then when I'm overhead, I'm this strong pillar. Otherwise what happens is I go overhead and the back tends to arch. I get a little soft, I get in trouble. We're gonna add a push press to this, which means I'm actually gonna dip my legs a little bit this way. Knees will go forward and out and I'm gonna drive through my hips. And what I'm actually gonna do is jump this weight up a little bit. It's gonna add a little power there. So it's fantastic for not only safely manipulating a heavier object, it's great for runners trying to develop a little bit more power in their stride. So I have this kettlebell. This guy's gonna live right here on my shoulder. Notice it's on the outside of my shoulder. Belly and butt's really tight when I set up. I'm gonna practice this dip just a few times. Once I'm ready to go, I'm gonna dip, drive. 
In the beginning, what I want to do is lock this out and hold it for a second so I'm stable. Belly's on, check. Butt squeeze tight, check. Thumb is pointing back, check. That makes sure my shoulder's where it needs to be. I recover, dip drive, belly and butt tight, recover, dip drive, and recover. For this workout today, we're gonna to start with 10 kettlebell squats, holding this here. I'm then gonna do 10 push presses on the right arm. I'm gonna switch and then I'm gonna do 10 push presses on the left arm. I'm gonna rest for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna pick up the kettlebell again. I'm gonna do eight kettlebell squats, eight push presses on the right arm, eight on the left, rest 30 seconds, then I go six, four, and two. That is it for today. If you like this video on uh, kettlebell strength training, go ahead and let me know. Hit that like button. If you have any comments or questions on what we did today, and if you have any requests on future kettlebell workouts you'd want to see or other strength training workouts you want to see, hit us up in the comments. Definitely subscribe to The Run Experience. We've got so many great videos coming out all the time on other types of strength trips as well as on running technique and performance. We've got run workouts in there as well as how to take care of your own body with some great injury prevention stuff. So definitely hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you want to dig a little bit deeper into strength training, well, we have a free gift for you. All you need to do is click the link in this uh, this little video up here in the screen and uh, it's going to take you to a page where we have this great free strength training uh, set of workouts for you. We're really going to dig deeper on some exercises, show you how to do them and give you some workouts. It's really going to change your running. If you just so happen to be on a mobile device, well we've got you covered in the description. There's going to be a link in the description that's going to take you to the same website. Once you're on that website, all you need to do, name and email entered in and then we'll be able to personally send you the strength training workout. Once again, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.